And we're live. Good afternoon from Keeler Gardens. You might need to be a little louder so than gonna that. It's going to be windy, so I might have to scream. If you can't hear, leave a note in the comments. Welcome, everyone. So we're at Keeler Gardens. We want to remind everyone who we are and where we are. We're on Keeler Avenue, Keeler Gardens, 3631, just north of Addison. The garden here is right along the sidewalk. You can join us at any time. Generally, because we are a nonprofit, we offer programs and services to the community. I'm but, just going to stand here and smell the hyacinth. Okay, but we that can't, was yesterday. Yeah. Go watch that video. We can't uh, do programs right now, so we're bringing the programs to you. So join us for the beauty of it, for the connection with nature. Learn something. Be inspired. Uh, the whole point of what Keeler Gardens does, our mission, is to make sure that you have a connection with nature for your health, for your mental health, your physical health, etc., etc. And one of the ways you can do that is through these videos. There actually is a study that shows uh, on our website that shows just the view makes a difference. Uh, Ed is guarding the microphone, so I'll try to make this uh, short and sweet. Uh, I don't know if anyone was looking outside a few minutes ago. Uh, right now, we've actually got a beautiful blue sky, even though it's really windy. thought I'd come in um, for a close-up. It has but, nothing to do with the wind pushing me. <laughs> a half an hour ago, it was actually snowing. Uh, and that's why we wanted to bring to you today these little beauties here. This is Scylla Siberica. And um, we want to talk to you about a couple things. So the first thing we want to show you is that this beauty blooms early. It's a tiny little bulb. We'll go into more about what bulbs are later. But this beauty blooms really early. And if we had a little snowfall and that snow draped on here, it would be perfectly fine. It wouldn't mind it at all. So what I'm going to talk to you today about is the nature of the name of this plant. It's just gorgeous. Who wouldn't want this plant? But we want to know what to call it. When you see things and you're walking down the street, you want to know what they're called. So you can say, I would like this plant. And so we do get a lot of questions about we this We do, plant. and people love these beauties. Um, I don't know, if it, Ed, if you can pan to the right or pan out. They, what's called um, naturalize. They just sort of spread and I they I think dot right the, there is a great example. You know, they go of here and they go here and they go there and they go there. And if you give them enough space, they'll fill in entire spaces under trees. They even like shady. So um, that's why this guy is so beautiful. And when he's planted and or grown en masse, you know, in large quantities, it's, it's like a sea of blue. It's just phenomenal. So here's what we're going to talk about. This is Scylla. I have to lean. Sorry. Scylla Siberica is what this one is called. S-C-I-L-L-A? S-C-I. It's my angle. L-L-A. Okay. It. Now, the reason this is important is because Scylla is what's called a genus. If anyone knows what the kingdom phylum... King Philip came over from Germany sailing. Uh, you know, the classifications. Uh, look it up. That's one of the goals of these videos, is to give you things that might intrigue you or excite you. So look that up. But when you get down to the specifics, down to like uh, separating cats and dogs, basically, you know, feline versus canine. Well, the genus here of this beauty and its cousins is Scylla. Okay? So this is Scylla Siberica. That's the blue one. Okay. There's also another Scylla. We're all waiting on bated breath to see if you actually can spell out Sibericum. Oh, Siberica? Oh, that's the easy one. Like <laughs> sure it is. Siberian. Siberica. That's neat. Scylla Siberica. And the reason this is important is because this is the genus, okay? And this is what makes it the very specific plant. This is Scylla Siberica. Now, there are other Scyllas. They're also lovely. Do we have other Scyllas? We might. And you're looking at me like that. I didn't want you to ask no, me no, that No, no, I was going to mention it, but I, I'm not sure if it's walkable. I'll okay. be honest. I don't know if it's close by. Okay, so Scylla Siberica. This is the genus. This whole thing all together, that's what we call the species. It's a natural. It grows naturally just like this, and it's been, you know, um, grown, and we get the bulbs, and we plant Scylla Siberica. Okay. Go ahead. I was about to probably... And then the common name is Siberian Squill. So the, the, oh, so it's Siberian Squill. Squill. So, Squill. There's lots of squills. Okay? Oh, you're talking with your hands, so I'm going to okay. come out here. So, um, let me see if we have another... I don't think we actually have another squill. It's in the back. It's a little complicated. But the point is that when you distinguish the shape of the flower, the color, the way it leans, etc., etc., you know that you have a specific plant. This is Scylla Siberica. Now, one of the other squills that we might have is milk squill, I believe is what it's called. That is Scylla... Line! 
it, well, it's really, it's a long mushkin tunchioidy. It's the Well, I want to see you spell that. Munchkin tunchioidy. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll put that in the comments. Yeah, and so see how many different ways that's going to be autocorrected. Or maybe that's the Pushkinia. I'll put them all in the, in the comments for you, okay? So, the, the squills, you say squill. There's squill. There's Siberian squill. There's that milk squill I mentioned, and there's also a striped squill. Striped squill isn't a scylla at all. It's a pushkinia. And that's why the formal name, the botanical name matters. So you know exactly what plant you're getting, okay? So the milk squill and the striped squill actually look a lot alike. They're a little different. One's a scylla and the other one is a pushkinia. And I'll write all this in the comments. Good. That's what I'm just, we're just giving you a little lesson in botanicals, okay? Then there was, oh, so here's the cool thing. Even I don't know every single plant on the planet. Can you believe that? Nope. So, Scylla, this oh, group this, of plants, okay. okay, has about, I don't know, let's say six or more or less dozen species. So Scylla Siberica, Scylla Mushkin, whatever, I can't remember the spelling of it. And so there's about, let's say, 60, 70, 80, 50 different kinds of Scyllas, okay? So I don't know them all. So is that white one I see, we have all this blue, is that white one a different Scylla or a different, Sib no, it would be a different Siberica. So this is neither a Scylla, okay. nor is it a squill. This is Chianodoxa. Latin, the botanical, Chianodoxa, and its botan uh, common name is Glory of the Snow. So not the same genus or Not species. the same genus. Well, if it's not the same genus, it can't be the well, same species. Yeah, okay. Because this whole thing would be species. You have to have genus first, then species. Um, and that's why she is a genus. Uh, genius. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so out of all the, you know, dozens of Scyllas out there, okay, I found one today, I saw one today, that I had never seen before. It's so gorgeous. It's got this like, it's got, it, it's, it's petals, instead of them being like knotted like an umbrella, they're swept back. Like there's a fan on this plant all the time. It's called Scylla rosenii, and it's uh, hashtagged in there, but you should look it up because it's really cool. And then one other aspect of what we wanted to talk to you about today was these little tiny little guys, and it's good, good thing that Ed brought this up because this is, there's a cute little story about Canadoxa, glory of the snow. And if you look at these guys, that's also Canadoxa, okay? There's a blue Canadoxa, and then there is the pink lady or pink princess. But not out here. Uh, right here. So Where? that's the blue one, and you just pointed to the pink one. Oh, I thought it was white. No, it's pink. Don't have my glasses on okay. today. So the, the cute story that I want to tell you about some of these small guys is because they're so small, the relative differences in the what we call cultivars or varieties, the different versions of them, you know, the colors are different and the heights are different. So this little guy, these guys are all about maybe six inches tall, right? So this is glory of the snow. There is what's called the giant glory of the snow. I'm not sure if it's called blue giant or just giant. It's all of 12 inches tall. Wow. Can you believe that? That's, That's the giant. Like, That's like, like five times bigger than those. It's double. Double. It's double in size. Double. Up to double in size. So you get a relative idea on these little guys, what it means to be a ground cover, low, um, naturalized versus something that's going to be double in size, still only 12 inches. The smallness of the bulbs, the smallness of the individual resulting plant, the, the bulb is small, the plant's small. However, notice how hardy they are. These guys came up at about the same time, a little bit after the crocuses, and the crocuses faded because we had two hot days. That beautiful sunny 65, 75, and full sun, if you Ed, pan out, all the crocuses faded. Oh, they're gone. Yeah, they all faded because it was too hot. Well, that sucks. Well, we have beautiful pictures. You can go to yes. previous videos and pictures, okay? But our focus here is that depending on what you're looking for, you might choose this plant. You might pair it with a crocus. Different bulbs are going to do different things, and temperature matters. Now, I'm noticing as I'm panning here, just a real quick question that... Uh, and I think you mentioned this earlier, is this what you're talking about, the spreading? Because obviously we didn't plant them behind the rocks, did we? 
<laughs> okay, never mind. That's all we have for today. <laughs> so what happened was we had these in the ground and then we installed the pollinator habitat. So instead of digging them all up, we just put the rocks down and hoped for the best. And we got the best. And we got the best. Looks great. But if you look up, we didn't necessarily... I'm looking up. No, I need you to stand up oh, and look out this way. Gotcha. We didn't necessarily plant every single one of these little blue guys in every single spot. It's quite possible that these guys ended up here from seeding, naturalization, or even a squirrel. Squirrel! See, notice how over here we have one of those little, little guys here. See? That's the Canadoxa. But that looks pretty intentional. Uh, again, I don't know for sure, for certain. So I'm sensing a theme today. <laughs> don't right. know how to spell Mushkin Tony Mushkin, or that could be the Pushkinia. We, I, I just like saying these words. You know, it's just fun. So we did Scylla today. Tomorrow maybe we'll do another, or maybe we'll do something different. Uh, it might be snowing again. We might have to opt out because it'll be the weather will be inclement. There's all kinds of options. We're gonna do all kinds of stuff. Ed was mentioning that uh, yesterday's video was hyacinth. They still have a wonderful oh. scent. Please walk by and enjoy them. And more uh, of the yellows and the whites have bloomed since yesterday too. Uh, yes, um, a lot of our daffodils are opening up. And also uh, for the hyacinth, and this is true, uh, generally true of flowering plants, the warmer uh, the flower gets, if they get some sunshine on them, that encourages the scent to come out. Even if the temperature is cool, if the sun is shining, it makes their, that, um, the components that make the scent, it allows them to come out into the air more. So uh, if it's sunny, come out. Enjoy it. I'm going to blow away. I think nature's telling us this <laughs> video is going on too long. <laughs> okay. I hope we didn't go on too long. I hope you found it interesting learning a little bit about the Siberian school and the other schools. Check out that Rosenii. I don't know the common name of it because I just learned about it today, but it's really, really a very Well, if you click plan. on the hashtag, you might find somebody else that's and posted it. If I could offer up a challenge. Okay. I couldn't find it. I couldn't purchase it anywhere. If anyone can find it for purchase, you know, the bulbs that it doesn't cost, you know, $80 for shipping. Um, I would love to plant some of those and then next year we could see what they look like. All right, right. everyone. Thank like. you so much for joining us. Like us, follow, follow us. us. Please share these videos so everyone can enjoy them. Come by if you're local. If not, in the comments, let us know what you want us to talk about. And Even where you're from. And where you're from. Even if we don't have it here, we can find it or we can give you information about it. I can draw you pictures. Speaking of pictures, Join our prayer flag line. Let us know what you want us to put up there. We have so much going on. We're just going to keep bringing you more and more connections, okay? All right. Have... You guys have a good afternoon, and we'll see you tomorrow. Stay safe. And today, stay warm.